Hi guys, welcome back to Fuck It Why Not. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever. And if you're <laughs> listening via Apple or Spotify <laughs> podcast, then thank you. Thank hey. you. <laughs> we are joined here today by the hilarious Tommy. Thomas. <laughs> welcome. Well, thanks for having me, love. How, don't be quiet now. You've been <laughs> doing our ear up for the past I, 10 minutes. I'm just relaxing. I'm just settling in. <laughs> Finding me feet amongst the gays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've never been Are amongst the gays. Gay? Yeah. I can't tell. You can't tell? No, because Londoners cut talk funny. So, like, yeah, I don't really know. They're just either posh or gay. <laughs> well, well what, yeah. you, what would you say you we know talk like? No, I know you are all gay. All gay. I just Are you together? Yeah. 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 How are you? Yeah. I'm not going to find you attractive anymore. Then. Oh, <laughs> why? I was liking it. Why, sure. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to like it because it's not going to happen again. Oh, I'm glad. You, though. however. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you been? How's everything going? Marvellous, thanks. How's everything going for you? <laughs> That's all right. Just trying to survive. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually Same a little one. bit. Can you not tell by these bags? No, listen, that's just lack of sleep, love. Just have a good night's sleep and a pint of water. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Preferably Life tap, it builds my up your resilience. <laughs> <laughs> True, no? especially here. Well, I've just sat under my filler, so I understand your pain, to be mm. honest, but I'm 32 and you're about 16. <laughs> what filler have you had? In me hit face? Yeah. We well, haven't I, have we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been deported from countries, to be honest. <laughs> because <laughs> immigration are thinking you are smuggling something because there's no <laughs> fucking way that is you. Honestly. You're fucking biodegradable. You Literally, you could put me in a recycling bin and they wouldn't bat an eyelid. But do you look like considerably <laughs> different to like your passport photo? Absolutely, completely different. <laughs> yeah. Really? I, and, and my chrome, and my chrome is only different. So <laughs> it's altered Honestly. your DNA. Altered Honestly, your it is DNA. literally. Oh, I've been reborn. Wow. <laughs> Really different, yeah. Because I haven't just obviously had injectables. I've had other things done, and Have I'm going for more. Of course. What, what have you had done? <coughs> Can we say? You can. You can you yeah, I'm not letting you guess because then I'd be really insulted. <laughs> um, I've had um, hair transplants. I've had my ears pinned back twice, teeth done twice, lip filler about 189 times, <laughs> dissolved, <laughs> refilled, dissolved, <laughs> refilled, <laughs> cheek filler, chin filler, jaw filler, um, Botox in places you wouldn't even like to think. Oh, um, oh laser thinking. hair removal. Oh, I don't know. One else jumps up on it. Everything. I'd Fair re play. Replace organs if it costs more. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that would be, be good. What would be on your list? What? To replace an organ if you could. Lungs. What one would I replace? Yeah. Probably lungs, yeah. 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 Or like uh, maybe something nostril based. <laughs> have you got <laughs> organs <laughs> in your well, nose? Organ. I just think like maybe like septum or like whatever's here because it's fucked. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> You know, I am 32 and, you know, I was a cocaine addict, so obviously I've snorted my fucking brain <laughs> <laughs> So, which I've said before, guys, this is not new information. Yeah. Alcoholic, cocaine addict, anything else you want to add to the fucking plastic surgery addict, maybe? Alcoholic <laughs> 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 vibes, I like it. Yeah, I, I love it. I can't be doing with the bullshit, to be honest. Fair you play. get a lot of people, aren't you, who are very, like, you know, wholesome and they want to do their, you know, sheen hauls and whatever else. And, that, you know, I'm happy for you. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be a liar and <laughs> pretend that my life is, is perfect and I'm the most beautiful person on earth because I'm really fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way to be, though, isn't it? Well, when you watch someone and they're like, oh, my God, this blush is absolutely fucking amazing. I'm just like, no, bitch, it isn't. <laughs> it, it, it really isn't. No, when you're TikTok commission 60 pence on that blush, so I'm not buying it. I'll go to the, the website and buy it directly to cut you out for annoying me. To <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just mean sometimes, and I've said it before, like, influencery things are great and some people are really fun and I really love them. Like I was saying to you about Joe and George and all that, I think they're marvellous, I think they're funny, I think they're relatable. Some of them are like fucking canal water. <laughs> Dull. <laughs> and I just think, this isn't relatable to me, I don't want to buy a product you're promoting, sorry, hon. <laughs> You need because to be drawn in, don't you? you no, water. In. No, honestly, just like, it's just so beige. Yeah. I know what you it's mean. It's like this cushion <laughs> with beige. big tan on it. <laughs> <laughs> it does get a bit samey, doesn't and it? And I'm blush. like, oh, hi, guys. And I've got like one eye knocking fuck out of the other. I'm really <laughs> fucking fucked today. <laughs> <laughs> I've brushed my teeth for three days. <laughs> I smell like alpha bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck. But you are a ticking time. We're in for it today. I love it. Well, you know, these people.
<laughs> These fucking TikTok people, it's life. No wonder people are so infatuated with it because they are the epitome of making you feel better about your own life. It is like a reality TV because show. They, they, but then, there must be people that are worse off than them because mm. they exploit the fuck out of people. Mm. And they're like, you know, hi guys, I need three gifts. And I'm thinking, what are you spending the money on? May it I is ask? wild. Yeah. Because fuck me, yeah. it's not on your face. But I don't know who like would just willingly give up like four hundred pounds. I know. But, but this gift. is what I think, right? And this was my like thing that I thought about it. These people must feel like they don't fit in anywhere in society, and this is their one place where they feel like they do. Yeah. And to stay within that circle, they've got to pay to be part of it. Yeah. But TikTok's a free app. Yeah. Like you're not doing anything. You sing into Fine Gravity eight hundred and ninety-seven times sharp as a witch's nose <laughs> i don't want to hear that ever again in <laughs> fact i've got 50 percent hearing loss from that please fuck off <laughs> and i'm sorry i've suffered with mental health a lot <laughs> and and i there's n- i've never not brushed my teeth i can assure you now <laughs> <laughs> i mean even if you don't want to use a toothbrush use your finger at least. <laughs> Not the finger. No, but you know when you've got no, maybe like bleeding it, though. We've all done it. Yeah. So you're at a festival <laughs> and you've lost the toothbrush and you're just too fucked to even find it. You just get a bit of Colgate on your finger. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. Oh. I mean, people books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, t- I'm too far. Right. <laughs> Does anyone else want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> is, this on. My, is this my podcast? I think it's your podcast now, yeah. Hey, listen, why the fuck haven't I got a podcast? I don't know. Really I want to see it. I want right, to see okay. it. Right, okay. So God. the two companies that I actually discussed having one way, I just thought this is too wholesome for me. Mm. Because they wanted me to talk about, like, um, there was, I'm not going to say the name of the company, it was a massive American. <laughs> <laughs> and they were launching it and they were dead interested, but they wanted me to talk about being, like, unapologetic and overcoming hard things. And I was like, you need yeah. just like an unhinged podcast. Not, yeah. not Trisha Goddard, huh? <laughs> 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 We're not rebooting Vanessa Felt's show. Oh, bless her. Yeah, you need, like, an unhinged show. Yeah. Poor Vanessa. I know. She's actually been going through it, to be Has fair. Has she? Vanessa, yeah. That yeah. Ben, uh, did you, she's, uh, I've got to say, I'm not sure what his name is. But he had an affair with someone, didn't he? Hey. Her oh. partner he for 16 like a, years. He's a one-hit wonder from like the early 90s. And he's rode the coattails of Vanessa for years. <laughs> and God love her because, it, I mean, it was written history. Oh, bless her. She's gorgeous. She is. Yeah. And good luck to her, you know what I mean? But I would <laughs> advise her to stick within her own age range going forward so that they actually value her instead of still living off royalties from a song that I can't even remember. <laughs> I could honestly <laughs> just listen to you speak for the whole day. <laughs> you are actually a reed queen. Yeah. I'm official. not a reed queen because the thing is, if all of these people wanted to stand right there, I would tell them. Mm. I'm not a bitch. That's one mm. thing I'm not. I'm not a bitch and I'm not a liar. If you know what I know I'm that. Uh, that was like the most iconic line of the year. Not from me, but everyone was saying I'm not a liar. That went, <coughs> or you are a liar, or whatever the fuck they were saying. But <laughs> I just, it's ra- I'd rather just say it. Yeah. And there's no need to pick on someone like, I would never say to you, like, I hate your jumper. I would never be cruel. <laughs> I don't hate your jumper, by the way. Like, <laughs> but like, I would never say, why the fuck has he got Crocs on? Or, you know, because I like Crocs as well. Yeah. So I wouldn't be cruel to somebody, but like if somebody does things and they need calling out, who's calling them out? Stop mm. being healthy. That is so. Yeah. Do you know what? I actually agree with that because there's a lot that's going on, especially on TikTok, like with all the drama that obviously we've just kind of touched on. No one's being called out for it, or People like are scared to. Yeah, but like it's. But I don't but know why. Well, I'm banned yeah. now for a month. Oh, are oh yeah. Yeah. Mm, because TikTok. because they come after you, don't they? If you're yeah. saying it and they come after you, I get I've be, I get banned maybe once a week. Really? Mm, wow. I'm quite content with it, to be honest with you, because I do get exhausted of doing lives. Because <laughs> I'm like this all the time. Like, mm. at night time, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm fucked. Because I'm just crazy all the time, especially if I go out and I meet someone, like, in the street, and they say, oh, hi, are you this person? I'm like, yeah, hi. <laughs> and then, like, you know, <laughs> I talk to everyone the same. It doesn't happen because there's a camera. Yeah. Mm. That doesn't yeah. bother me. I yeah. hate it. I do feel like people need to be called out, though. There's a lot that's going on, and it's I'll just... I'll call them out. Do you want to throw some names off? Who? Who? On, on what? On TikTok? On TikTok. Life. I'm not bothered. Hmm. Yeah, let's think about that. Where is some drama in life? On what app? On what? What program? other b- other stuff that's drama wise? Any drama? Um. Well, I talk about fuck on everything. That's why I've got a, a bit of a husk because I don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, 
th- like, I don't know, there's, there's loads of drama in the world at the minute, isn't there? You can't give it a fucking shit. No. Yeah, you can't give it a brain. Mm. That's like, true. Stop trying to cancel people. Like, who the fucking hell do you think you are? And I swear people cancel the wrong people as well. Yeah. They make yeah. one small mistake. Me. Yeah. They cancel yeah. me yeah. every fucking week. And I, I, do you know what? I don't give a flying fuck. Because you don't pay me bills, you don't feed me, and you don't fuck me. So keep your opinion to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is the most you know important. I just reply and say to them, like, use a hashtag, love, because I'm really not that fucking interested. You bought them cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bleep the cunt out, will you, love? Because I'm meant to be not swearing, and I've swore since I've gone here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to appeal to a more wholesome audience. Oh, are you? Really? <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yeah, that's not you, though. And if I'm 32, I haven't got the next fucking 10 years. I'm not going to get on this morning calling people cunts, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see you on this morning, though. That'll never happen, love. Although, I look at Alison Hammonds and think she was in Big Brother. She never even won. But yeah. a national She is. Yeah. I love that woman so much. Yeah, fair play to she her. She literally should mm. be the queen. Well, she's yeah, hosting, she she's she's hosting Bake Off now, isn't she? She needs to be but on my telly every yeah. programme. Yeah. I want her on. I She's perfect on Big host Brother, every though. single program. There's not one program I don't think she no. can host to make no. it funny. Although I do the Ricky and I love and love Claudia Winkleman as well. Do you? I love her. Oh, yeah, yeah. she's good fun. Claudia. She just looks like she's been dragged to the hedge. <laughs> I just love her. You know, like that grungy like. She yeah. is grungy. And she definitely her. gives grungy. That is her statement. Look. look. A bit like she's been. But they don't. I don't think she would though. No, but I mean, like when she had that eyeliner under her eye, and you think. Mm, Oh, that, oh, that photo. That yeah. photo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me, it's iconic. Quite iconic. Yeah, like yeah. If a boy turns up and he's got like hair and it's, he's like a bit dishevelled and he's got like got weird tattoos that he's done himself, I would think. Mm. Do you like, like that? Oh, really? Well, usually it's like big dick energy. Okay. What do you think? Mm. They don't really care. Do I like don't it? know. They like him a bit like scruffier. Dick. I what, don't know if scruffy? that gives. Not scruffy, but like Londony. Okay. You are quite well put. You are quite well put. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, no. I got ready in 10 You're minutes and it shows. You're beautiful, you're very beautiful, listen, I'm not taking that away from you. Fashion sense, please. <laughs> this ain't my, this ain't our typical fashion. No. No. Even what, like, no. Because in <laughs> Liverpool, it's, even if you've got a fiver, you look like five million, do- not that I do now, but I was coming to London, so I had to let the side down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, our, our people, like, if you go shopping, you wear high heels. What? See, I hear this. I do hear and this. Like everyone's very glamorous. Yeah. With your makeup and all that. It, you girls well, just like pop to the shop. Do not do their own makeup in Liverpool or their own really? hair. Really? No. And here, yeah, <laughs> you use like like girls don't wear a bra and stuff. Yeah. And like their hair's like down and they haven't got any fake tan on and. <laughs> yeah, we're. I mean, <laughs> you're Indian. lucky. Yeah. You didn't get me in a jogger because I because no, I'm dancing. I'm in a I've jogger all the time. I've got fucking Maharishi combat trousers on. I'm not slating. I do. Well, get but like. Made in Chelsea is not giving compared to like what we are. You are I, I was used to. To be really? fair, you always yeah. know the people that travel down to London for a night out because they're always in their best top gear. But like all of you look like students to me. Got you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. very yeah. relaxed yeah. and it's quite sexy. But like the boys in ours have all got fake teeth. They're all tanned. Their eyebrows are done. They're all on probably on steroids. Off right. probably drug dealers. <laughs> and um, they're, they're just confident and sexy, and they'll get right in your face. Really? Just, oh my God. Not on a nice house, but when they slide into your DMs. Oh. I've never been to Liverpool ever. Right, okay, so you are coming. Yeah, we'll go to Liverpool. And I will take you to the best places. <gasps> Let's do we it. need, Please yeah. Go to Liverpool, that would be chaos. Bitch, I literally have just been at a massive meeting with a nightclub as well. That is the most. He's from Alderley Edge, the man that owns it, and we'll go there, and it's just. Uh, you don't have to pay a tax, love. <laughs> 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 no, honestly, I, gee, that's the joys of this. Yeah. The joys of this. I haven't bought a fucking yarp. Honestly. <laughs> I love it. I haven't drawn a thing. And I'm not, I'm a cheeky trash. I just message them and say, I love them coming to a restaurant, you know. Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, well, really well, yeah fucking hell, I would. I mean, you know, I'm trying to think of things that I've done that are like shocking. I've had fabulous things, like fabulous things that I've never been able to ever have. What, like what? What's like your a Ben Mac dress. I had that. Really? That was, and I was, I was like, are you, sh- sorry, are you sending me this for free? And he's like, yeah. <gasps> but then like, it's like money that is more than people's two months wet rent. Yeah. Mm. Like a coat, the coat that I wore on the bags podcast, that was free. He sent me that. And that was from London. Everything's from London, but. Like, if you get a dress from Liverpool, it's 40 quid. You don't place the deposit. <laughs> 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 Did you ever move to London? Absolutely never, ever. Really? Ever, ever, ever. Unless I had a really rich husband with a massive dick who worked away on the oil rig. <laughs> 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 of course, on the oil rig. <gasps> Just somewhere that I didn't have to bother with him, like, maybe once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's understandable. I don't want to talk to them. That's so annoying, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. Do you annoy each other? Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been together? Six years. 
Oh, right, yeah, you can read the fucking Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, <laughs> six years? Yeah. Wow, are you engaged? Not yet. No. Are you going to get engaged? I hope so. Are you the top? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're proposing? Well, uh, no. yeah, he wants me to. No, no. Thank you. He's taken your dick for six years and you're not going to propose to him. <laughs> Do you That's know what? Do you realise the effort that goes into bossing them? Oh, no, I really... I, no, I mean, I've, I've done it myself. Okay, but you're the top, aren't you, then? Well... Okay. I'd say more versus. Yeah, I think... Uh, you, I think as years go on, you'd also just want to lift your leg up and say, hurry up, don't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> I just I can't be doing with it. And then I also think, do I need to be the polyamory? Because I don't know whether I'm really for... The, I, do, I think it's a social construct. It's not real. I agree. Mm. Like, I think that sometimes... To me, now in a relationship, if my dad had come to me and was open and honest and said, listen, I can't see a bit of strange, you know, I'd say, go on, love. Mm. Because it's sex, it's not love. Mm. If he cheated on me, you're a liar. You're yeah. lying. Like, be honest. I can have an yeah. open and honest conversation. I've had three since four, since five, since done, ev- done everything. And uh, I just think, why not? Like, I'd rather have a healthy, happy home. I agree, yeah. Where you go and fuck someone and then come back to me. You're not marrying them. Yeah. Just don't fuck them more than once or I'll fuck you up. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. healthy yeah. to me. And people don't talk about it and they're all like, no, I can never share. Well, you're not sharing because you're not there, bitch. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> I think. True. Yeah. And like that guy in it. And that as well. <laughs> marriage and monogamy is all man made anyway. Like, no one actually said. I get marriage. But oh, like. I read it personally. I think marriage is a union of two people that's about love. I don't think it's. Uh, like, I think monogamy is about sex. Mm. Mm. That's true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And it, it's it as human beings scientifically I mean Dr. Dickhead over here. Um <laughs> we're not meant to be one person. We're mm. not meant to be no. yeah, so that's right. with one person. Yeah. Do you look at people walking down the street and think I would take your fucking undies off with my teeth? <laughs> 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 that's what I mean, and then in a relationship are you not allowed to think that anymore? Oh I sorry, I think it every minute of the day. <laughs> I was sitting on the tube before looking at someone thinking Fuck my life, soul, existence, and every orifice <laughs> I have. <laughs> Repeatedly. Repeatedly. And he's tall and delicious, and he had braids in, and he had big lips, and I wanted a raspberry in. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. You know what I don't oh. get about did some you, couples? Have you not watched me on there? Did you not expect this? No, I did. Oh, good. Did you let me talk? I love him. <laughs> <them. laughs> little tacos on them. Oh, lovely. Oh, love get me a pair. I want a pair. Where'd you get them from? Um, Primark. Oh. Do you have Primark here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about what shops yeah. we have in London that you didn't think you had. No, y- when I used to come years ago, because I used to have a fella who... Um, was he on the old rigs? No, he wasn't. <laughs> like, oh. And I, I don't know. I, but he, he had a house here. Um, and I used to, used to live in South Kensington. And I used to oh. come up and... Um, oh, he's nice, isn't he? Lovely. He lives on the same street as Gandhi. Who's Gandhi's that? dead, obviously. Mahatma Gandhi. You better be Gandhi lived in London. Who's Gandhi? Yeah, Gandhi has a house in London. You're Gandhi. joking. Me, Gandhi. Gandhi's flip flop. Yeah, yeah, Gandhi's flip flop. Yeah. Gandhi's flip flop. South Gandhi's Kensington. Flip-flop, yeah. Who yeah. the fuck is Gandhi? Between Barons Court <laughs> and um, South Kensington Gandhi, Station. Gandhi, like. God, I didn't know that. At South Kensington Station, there's a street right across the road, and he lived on there, and there's a plaque outside the house that says Mahatma Gandhi. And he lived there. But he didn't live there permanently. He obviously lived in India, but hence Gandhi's flip flop. But obviously. <laughs> 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 I mean, I have had many a morning where my mouth's like Gandhi's flip flop, though. Fuck me. Mm. Um, yeah, it was like Gandhi's fuss, never mind his flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in the desert, honestly. But, yeah, so I used to come up here all the time and I used to go to High Street, Kensington, and Sloan Square, and that was it. So I didn't know what London was like, and there obviously isn't a BM there in Sloan Square. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, no. It, was, it was delicious. And there was like there seven stars on the King's Road. I used to go in There's, every one and yeah. used to buy me stuff, and he, I was made up. I loved it. But again, I would live in them areas. But yeah, I don't yeah. want to live in the hustle and bustle. What's yeah. Liverpool actually like then? Like real Liverpool? So if you walk down the streets, everyone will smile at you. Really? They'll smile at them. And if you talk to people, they'll have to sit and have a conversation with you. If you're on the train, people go, I love you, all right. And you're like, yeah, I'm fine with you. And then just like you say, you're having a nice day or whatever. And just if you go in the shops, everything's 50% cheaper. Um, Everyone's fifty percent more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone in London is so boring. No one speaks. No one drunk. speaks think, unless you're well, drunk. There's also a lot more. Um, what I do like about London is that there's a lot of cultural diversity. There's a lot of ethnic diversity. Yeah. There isn't that in Liverpool. Mm. So everyone conforms oh. to the way that a scouser would be because there's no. 
ghettoization of like where there's all black people there or all indian people there or all muslims there there's none of that everybody's integrated so everybody is the way of a liverpudlian which is just overly friendly overly right mm. if you literally said oh excuse me love i i just i'm sh- i'm t- a pound short here we'd give you that yeah fucking hell you wouldn't get that here and the, and the re- even though so the people who've got less give you more Mm. Oh, really? it's, just a ca- it's just a kind sissy mm. it's we were ca- obviously capital of culture as well it, like it, we are I, I think it's the best people in the world but I, i'm biased i i yeah, do yeah. think we could do a bit more of that here like i i i'm always surprised like it's really nice when people do actually talk to me like i like doing that i actually love talking to random people during like in the street and stuff like those weird I'll little talk to you in the street. oh i know you would <laughs> You know those like random little interactions that you have. That's uh, they're some of the like yeah, best ones yeah. that you can I have. Agree. I agree. Mm. Yeah. And I do think though, in the last ten years, it has improved here definitely. Because like I said, he lived here. So when I used to come, I'd been lying on the platform vomiting before and people step over you. But now, <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. People I've been will. Literally dying in the street no in London. Gives a fuck. I've had fights in the street in London. Yeah. And and people are just like hi. Don't know, they're actually not like hi, that's the point. They just walk straight <laughs> yeah. in Liverpool, everyone would interject. Yeah. Or if you were lying on the floor, a hundred people would be around you trying to help you. That's so well, nice. Even last night, I was walking, so I let Kai get his car, and I was walking to the tube, and there was a girl just slumped in the corner, like fast asleep, pissed out her head, like in this massive wet pack. No one bad on a whole road. You know, um, where you have freedom, you always have those dodgy straight men around there that are trying to mug your phone, mm-hmm. like they're trying to sell you drugs, like that is all. They were all walking past, like loads of people walking past her. No one batted an eyelid. It's so dangerous as I well. I know, and she was just fast asleep, and I, I had to wake her up and waited for like twenty five minutes to get an Uber, but no one stopped. See if she was okay. I was so shocked. I was like, "What the fuck?" Mm. And it's people like you that doing little things like that, even though it's not within the norm. Which again, I there's part of me that understands it. Like I think people don't want to look like they're maybe taking advantage mm. to outsiders yeah. as well. Yeah. But I think like it, it's got to be those brave people that do those little things where they do help someone so that other people then feel comfortable enough to do it as yeah. well. Yeah. So I do think it's it's a double-edged sword and it happens everywhere. But yeah. in Liverpool, people just don't really give a fuck. No. So it's like, well, I don't really give a fuck what you think. No. So I'm going to help this person anyway. Yeah. And there's been many a time when I, I, I mean, when I've been people in the community, I've been, I mean, I've been in some terrible fucking states. Mm. Mm. You know, one minute you're getting spit roasted, the next minute you're outside on the curb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how <laughs> it I mean, goes. I, I have to say, I haven't been spit roasted before. You haven't? No, Do you enjoy it? Can, no, I haven't been. Oh. Because it's too, you're trapped, aren't you? Yeah, it's quite claustrophobic. It's like those things imagine. that you put your finger in and it gets You stuck. can't pull them out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know how I'd feel in that situation. It just reminds me of a corn and a cob. Do you know when you get the two spikes and you have to stick mm. it in? It's it more like a pig like on a spit when it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why it is called <laughs> yeah. a spit, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's I don't know that so well. <laughs> 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 no, I haven't. No, it's not my bag, man. No. Mm. No, spit roasting's not for me. No, I've never, I've never tried that. No One things. thing I'll never try as well is... Oh my god! I don't even like a finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could ever try that. No. Do you know what? They, you know the lube that they use. It's numbing. Oh. 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 No. no. That so would the make reason sense. that they can get it in is because it's got a numbing agent in it. Oh yeah, well. When people get like right down to the elbow. I think. Right, then let's give do it. it a, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> give I, it a break. I also think uh, is the research done on this where people aren't wearing nappies in later life. Well, that's what but I mean. But also, like, how can loose. that physically fit <laughs> up to your oh, elbow? Believe me, the body's very resilient, my love. No, but actually, <laughs> but listen, <laughs> when you actually use your asshole for that, not mm. for fisting, but I mean, in general, like, if you're putting things in there, <laughs> because it's a muscle, it gets stronger. <laughs> wow. Really? You've got six back of your So, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Funnily enough, I was a virgin until I was 23. Really? Yeah. I was sucking dick from 15. Oh, right. So I become, <laughs> like... Do you know, like, <laughs> Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid? I was that <laughs> sucking dick. I was like a master at it. Honestly, I was... And I just, Summon I, them I round don't know you. how. Some of them that I've swallowed, I think, how did I do that? I literally deserve to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. You should. Like, honestly, <sighs> because some of them are like arms. And then I think, <laughs> from that... <laughs> So honestly, really, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, it's like the black hole of cow custard. But so now I'm, I'm not really like. I usually finish them off with my mouth. 
Actually, really? that everyone in there on a hookup, I would definitely not have let them do that. No, a hundred percent. Do you know these people who like come and jump loads in me? I'm thinking, <gasps> well, oh okay? no! If they take a blood test on you, it's gonna have everyone's fucking DNA. <laughs> and you can have that many loads. <laughs> but so I'm not really. I do do it, but in a relationship more, or if I was seeing yeah. someone, or if it's like an iconic dick, then I can't say no. Yeah. Fair, Fair enough. enough. It's true. Isn't Fair it? enough. You mm. just need to be a little bit more. Keep your hands on your eight me. What does that mean? Keep your hands on your eight me. Keep was your fanny to yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never yeah, heard that in my life. No, neither. Ne- keep your hands on your knee. Yeah, I've never heard it. Know, it's a Scouse term, is it? Oh, right. What Sorry. Scouse terms can you like, say that we wouldn't know? We'll try and like, Yeah, guess we'll it. tell you if we know it or not. Uh, la. Liar. La. A la. Oh, like lad? Yeah. Right. Oh, me, liar. <laughs> um, let me think of Scouse term. Boss. Like you're a, you're a bad bitch. Like, like that's boss. That's oh, good. like that's good, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, fucking hell, scouse tape lippy. <laughs> what like lipstick? lipstick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what a pan of scouse is? A what? A pan of scouse. A p- is it a food? A pan of scouse. Yeah, but do you know what's in it? No. It's potatoes. It's like a poppy tea. Do you know what a poppy tea? Yeah, is? yeah. What is it? Like you like <laughs> poor dinner. Yeah. yeah. So it's like scouses, braising steak. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Potatoes, carrots, onions, and gravy. That's it. Oh. But it's got to be made by a scouse person. So don't call it stew or hot pot. I was gonna say it kind of sounds like it. a stew. Like no, it is a stew, but it's scouse. Okay? Right. Okay. And it's got to be made by a scouse person. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's what makes it. What is it? Pan of scouse. It's so a the pan of scouse, but it's because so you want a bowl of scouse, a pan of scouse, a fucking mouthful of scouse. <laughs> <laughs> a mouthful of scouts. Well, if we go to Liverpool, I'll definitely have a mouthful I'll of scouts. Yeah, Believe fucking me, hell. My fucking little black book is full of mouthfuls of scouts. <laughs> <laughs> and they know exactly what they're doing. They'll be doing the fucking windmill before you know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking doing hell, Liverpool worm. sounds great. Yeah. Do you know what? Why you've got? Don't you be looking for mouthfuls of scouts? Well, just want a mouthful of we've just had a conversation yeah, well, about yeah, monogamy yeah, there. Okay. <laughs> Listen, London's got some great dick. Hard to find though. Is it? Yeah. No, not London, sorry. Liverpool. I oh. oh. London dick is not hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> I could switch grinds it on now and go and have a dick appointment here. You'd have to work more for it in Liverpool because there's really? less people. Oh. Yeah, if is you, Liverpool a big city? I don't know. If you were on there and you were offered in your vagina, then the, 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 you'd be you'd have them queuing up. Oh, yeah, I do have a lot of requests, but it's very. Are you a vase, bottom, top? You know what, right now I'm just the Virgin Mary. I can't lie. Okay, but if you use None of the above. If you're using of the above. not your Virgin Mary, but I'd your actual Mary. Right. Well, it depends who I'm with, actually, because I do like to top, but only if it's like a big guy. No. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. I knew that. If it's like a big, muscly guy, I find that really attractive. So you're like Dom and them? Yeah, like if they Dom me and then they switch roles and come like really sub, I find that so attractive because I'm like, listen here, bitch. No, I. No. Really? Did you not know that? I knew that. I didn't I know you knew no. that. Well, I big guys. No. Mm. Oh. I like. Do you d- I get your concept. I don't like the switching at all. Do you not? No. But if they like really like this dumb character, like they're like an affluent man who's like got a few bob and all that, do you know what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, <laughs> I love to dominate them. Like really? Completely dominate them. Is I it because? Is them, it? Bec- I'll tease them and and, and do, they'll do exactly what I say. Is it because <gasps> they've got like they're wealthy? Not you, you being think, a master. <gasps> well, master. No, I'm not a master. More like a mistress, maybe. Oh, actually, yeah, that suits you better. Yeah. Because I'd wear like thigh high boots and that. Really? Would ya? Right, I was. <gasps> obviously, <laughs> love And it. a whip. Oh really? yeah, obviously. Have you used the cat and nine tails before? No. Oh, really? Nice. If you like, just flick it like that. It's nice. If you go like that and fuck off, it hurts. <laughs> oh, and I've got a rising <laughs> crop as well. I don't do pain. I'm not. I don't it's do not pain. For love, it's nice. <laughs> as long as it's not done to me. <laughs> yeah, like a tease. It's not actually. It's it nice does feel quite you. pleasurable. Uh, if I was doing it, I like, yes. And when they're like, oh, I just yeah. Yes, mistress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or the, I just I love it. Or then if it's someone who's like really confident and sexy, like and just a bit of a rough ass, I'm like completely sub. Really? really? Oh my god! Make me cream, make me scream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook. Yeah, I'm see, lame. I don't. Uh, for me, I don't get that. That like the rough. Not like, really that actually aggressively rough. I mean, they look rough. Yeah, do no, like, that's like no. Spanked? I know you mean that. Oh. I, I just can't do it. I mean, like a scally. Yeah, no, I know. Do you like to be like spanked? 
Um, no, because my ass is really beautiful, and I just don't really think that's appropriate. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean then, like a scally. Like a chubby yeah, ass. Yeah, okay, I know yeah, what you and mean. And I'm just like, oh my god, I can get my legs behind my head today. My ass will fucking pop me up out of place and get it rah around me. <laughs> rah around me. Oh, rah means like race. Right round there. I, I could talk really scout as well, but I'm trying to sort of dim it down a bit. Try what's, what's really scout? Well, there's no th- and there's no <laughs> there's no k. What do you mean? <laughs> Duh, means the. <laughs> Duh. Like they do that there, though, don't they? Though? Do they? They do that there, though, don't they? Though? They do that there, though, don't they? Though? Oh, they I can't even they say do that. that. No, I know because though. we're like poets. <laughs> poets. That is <laughs> quite poetic. You know, like Irish people. A lot of Irish people come to Liverpool because we are pretty much exactly the same. Do they understand exactly every single word we're saying, and we understand every single word? Really? They say. Yeah. Loads of Irish in Liverpool. Loads of uh, Liverpool and Irish. No, oh, you should be a teacher. You'd be amazing. What the fuck am I teaching, love? Specialist subject, dick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could literally, <laughs> literally. Good. I don't think you just want to ask me because I'm just chatting shit. I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I'm just, yeah, I'm enjoying out. the conversation. Um, <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know what we've touched on what we haven't I touched have on. we talked about? We've talked about. Well, so look. Talk about my we, well, we can talk. This is the thing. We can talk about it, but. Well, I want to talk about something else. I really am glad that you've said that, you know, because do you know what? Marriage at first sight is just do not on me. Yeah. <laughs> I because do you know what? When you put like an, an African grey among squirrels. An African <laughs> grey. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore, actually. I've got to, they, they are fucking boring. Boring. <laughs> Stop emailing the podcast that I've been on. They don't want to do follow up interviews with you. You are dull as fucking canal water. You aren't even Brita filtered. You are tap. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no, go fuck off and stop following my career. Follow your own. Oh, no, you haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you enjoy the process of the show? I enjoyed the process of fucking anything. <laughs> 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 because I cannot. Do you know when sitting in life, if I had a mess half of those fucking absolute wet wipes, I would have left, uh, never seen them again. I would, would have had to get in touch with me by a fucking pigeon carrier and to block them on everything. <laughs> Honestly, I God. The f- oh, and then the they're like, oh, hey, look at this person leaving this event where they're launching a fucking spoolie. <laughs> 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 I've been to three events. I'm not attending the fucking oh. events. I think I'm flying fuck about your eyelash launch, your fucking <laughs> clipping fringe launch, your fucking <laughs> highlighter launch. I couldn't give an eighth of a fucking shice about it. N- invite them. They love going to them. They love attending and getting being in the back of the fucking newspaper in a bit about that big and they've dressed up and paid for the makeup artist for it. Not me, my love. <laughs> I'm investing my money. I only go to events that are important to me. The ones that you're not invited to. Well, there we go. Did anyone get invited to Charlotte Crosby's event? No. Did anyone get invited <laughs> on this podcast? No. Did anyone get invited <laughs> on the Bags podcast? No. Did anyone get invited on GK Barry? No. Who did? Me. <laughs> that is because I'm now, and I've said it all along, I am the star of the fucking show. You are not. You are fillers at best. on fucking period because I'm sick of these basic O's. Well, there we go. That clears up Married at First Sight then. Yeah. So Great Thanks. show. <laughs> Next season. <laughs> yeah, love Is the that n- crystal fucking clear? <laughs> because honestly, saying, can, can you unblock me a minute? I want to talk to you. I don't want to fucking talk to you because all you do is talk about your fucking self and I'm not interested Who's in you. Who's saying anymore. that? All yeah. these basic fucking people on that show. I speak to two of them. Who, I was really? going to say, who, yeah, who, who do, do you speak to? She was on the very beginning. She was on not in it that long, but she's got the best personality ever. Mm-hmm. And her math salty roundup is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I speak to the stripper, PJ. Oh, the yeah. Stripper, that's okay. awful. But he's, oh, a stri- yeah. he's the most beautiful man. Not obviously outside as well. I mean, yeah. me, but inside as well. Yeah, and yeah. So I speak to, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be rude to, en- well, I wouldn't be rude <laughs> to most of them. Um, but some of them, I just think, stop talking about me i don't even know your fucking middle name piss off i was there for eight weeks i've had friends for 20 years why the fuck do you think i'm going to devote myself to you yeah this bow socks is wearing off already (laughs) (laughs) you're wearing angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Eight weeks of filming. That's the long. And it's like a long ass day, and you're away from your family and all. That. Yeah, that must be like, hard. Oh yeah, fuck that. I adore my mother. I mean, she's an icon. She really is a fucking. I icon. bet she is. Mums are just. Oh mum, I think mums are just in it. How she hasn't. I mean, 
if you just said we waited for five minutes, she'd die. Really? Oh, um, and I'm iconic. Fuck Why don't you me. and her do like a podcast? Yeah. No, we tried, and do you know what? It just it's too construct. Like it was too. Yeah. We just fly off the ha- like we just fly off each other. But, but I'd need someone who was like. I asked for a podcast host, and there was people like I'd love to do a podcast with you because of this, and I was like, "Oh my god, doesn't matter." <laughs> so I just think <laughs> for me, I'd like her to do something a similar concept to what you've got, where it's like a gaggle of gays, mm. yeah, like all different types of gays, like the boring, yeah, guy. not that you have got one. I'm not saying that, but <laughs> like the boring <laughs> vanilla guy who's like horrified by everything, yeah. and then like the really slussy guy, tacky guy, and then obviously me as the main. Shebang. The main <laughs> feature. The, the main gay. I'm, well, I'm always the main gay. I'm the HBIC. <laughs> oh, I said, well, I said the American HBIC. Gray. I said yes. American grey. I meant African grey. Uh, the African gay. <laughs> I yeah, said the, oh, the American grey. <laughs> oh, God. An African gay would be great. I'd love that. Bit of diversity. <laughs> no, African <laughs> grey. <laughs> the parrot. <No. laughs> I mean, the thing is, I just, w- you want to, I wanted to, you want to display people from all different walks of life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you think about the new show on Channel 4? Oh, uh, well, thanks for asking. <laughs> I've actually been watching that nightly. Um, Wait, what's this? Rise and Rise Fall. And yeah, fall. it's Got made you. by The Traces, isn't it? And I did love The Traces. Shout out to Amanda, the star mm-hmm. of the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. I mean, she's a gay icon. She's in every gay bar she in the country. Is. She she's actually done an actual is. Like, gay bar tour. She with a load of fucking really well-known drag queens. And yeah. She's front and centre, like... Yeah, she I did. Mean, what, imagine being around her eyes, watching like 50 or in the late 40s, whatever, and being amongst all these fabulous gay people, yeah. queer people who were embracing you wholeheartedly. That must and be so sick. And she can go around and meet them all and have a laugh. I mean, I just think, who doesn't want that life? Huh? Yeah, that is good. I just think it's amazing. I, and I, I'm really happy. I'm really mm-hmm. happy for that. And she's yeah. on my agency, so I've got to be nice anyway. <laughs> 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 but the rise and fall thing is made by... Um, then, but obviously, I think some of the cast selection I did expect more from Channel Four. I mean, I didn't expect them to have people who behave in a manner of like you know being extremely right wing, at right. talking about immigration, refugees, Rwanda, all of that sort of stuff. At twenty one, in, in a bad way, she's right wing. Have you not read a Twitter? She's twenty one. I don't know who she is. Awful. She's That's a hit. She she, do you know that Darren Grimes? No. The one who got suspended from GB News, the homosexual from Newcastle. Who's no. extremely right wing again, an absolute walk and fucking yawn. In well, he's right wing <laughs> and he's I love that gay. Walking yawn. He's gay and he's right wing and he's a literal fucking bin. Get in the bin. No one's asked about your YouTube channel or your ball followers or any other fucking thing. You're an absolute troll of the highest troll. No one likes your opinion. No one cares. You're boring cunts. She's the female version of him and she's like. <laughs> she's just. I mean. Because she's so vile on the inside, it makes you just look and think, oh, God, she must not grow up. I've seen some of her I tweets. They're fucking <coughs> where, where has she come from? What's happened? The bin. Like- <laughs> <laughs> That's where she's come from. She's come from, a, like, a, you remember that troll that lived under the bridge? That's it. <laughs> so is, it, is this show yet? Yeah, not even that. I like the Gruffalo. So <laughs> this show, do they have people that are, like, in the media already or well clearly because she's there and she's got a hundred about two hundred thousand ball followers right but <laughs> no one would follow her i mean on christmas day so she's this she i um, you know she's an alleged racist um <laughs> I, I, you know i'm not a fact finder by any stretch of the imagination but i have read many of her tweets she's definitely a racist right so okay. but it's obviously there. our massive opinion isn't right. it? Yeah. um but you know she's an, a real human troll uh, like uh, an actual troll visually and uh, in every other fucking right. sense of the way. But then, on Christmas Day, tweeted, Christmas curry has arrived. Now, <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> I'm all for personal taste and each to their own. Uh, but she then chose to have this jar curry that was smart price. Um, <laughs> with <laughs> four rounds of white bread. Not none. White Bread and she took a picture of this and she tweeted it. it was it was it like a take the piss kind of meal? That was deadly fucking serious. No, she <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and you can piss. tell that she ate it because her teeth are yellow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which must be from spewing venom. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some of her tweets and views then? Oh I just want. I j- honestly, you need to literally do a reaction video to it because. 
You will be horrified. Shall I read some tweets? I would. I mean, so why does Channel Four want her on there? This is why I'm disappointed because I've obviously been on Channel Four, and what I will say is, our cast was extremely diverse. People were very Mm. yeah, that's true. Accepting, even if we didn't like each other, I can safely say there was no homophobia directed towards me from any of them. Yeah, ever at any point, and there was no racism directed, and there was never any allegations of that. Mm. Mm. Sophie Corcoran, isn't it? Yeah. What does she look like? Sophie Corcoran, did you say or Corcoran? Corcoran. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, I, I am. Um, <laughs> I can't really remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped my mind. It is, honestly. <laughs> then they've got this other man on there who used to be on. Do you remember that show Four Rooms on Channel Four, The Antique Stealer? Yes. He's got one of them on there as well. So there is people who are vaguely in the media. I think they've steered it more towards. Do you know, like Tracy's US, where they have like half reality stars, half. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Actually, that I season. did enjoy I that really concept, enjoyed and that. I thought. Get me on the traces. I mean, I'd be out week one. But <laughs> I think they need to do that on. in the UK one because that was actually quite iconic because you get some characters and yeah. the people that, like, I don't give a fuck if you're an influencer or not. Would you it's do the answer to you, though? Yeah, I would do it. Would you? Yeah. Would you do the traces? Yeah, I'd do the traces. Do we? <laughs> we'll do, do it together. <laughs> you should get <laughs> That'll be fun. Directly and say you're not boyfriend. Don't know. Who well, was... Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, it was that... No. Why do I just think no, 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 no. room chatting? <laughs> <laughs> no, they wouldn't know. I don't think they would know. Don't you post well, like smoochy like pictures? If they've that? seen no. you in my videos and like on my yeah, Instagram and stuff, w- people would know. People you would know that you know because it's a very diverse range of people as well as yeah, people with seventy on there. Sh- true. And stuff. Remember that old lady who was a lesbian? Oh. And I loved her. <laughs> oh. No, I did. No, she was cute. Was I loved her. Lovely um, representation. I wanted her to be a traitor though. I don't think she could have hacked it, my love. Not at her age. She, she was pushing battles. Who was that, Andrea? Yeah, Andrea. She had, she had she had like do, beautiful yeah. friendships with all the young people as well. I like shit like that. Like, like that. they yeah. nurtured that, and that to me shows a good sign of the, the yeah. next generation of people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love old people. I do, or just and elderly I love camp people. Nans. Yeah, you know, like a camp old. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Liverpool you would have a lot of those. Um, any horrendous ones? I know I've replied to loads of her tweets. Me so too. I'm looking down. I need mine, to see what she looks like. Cause I actually don't. I'll tell you what she looks like now: the Grand Taj Witch with the mask off. <laughs> no, I mean, you know what? She's 21 and she should know better. I don't know who's reared her, but you know, it, it's just uh, it's just a really bad representation, um, especially in the current climate where trans people, black people, white people, not white people, sorry, my apologies, trans <coughs> people, gay people, black people, every person who's outside the realm of cisgendered, straight life is mm. a target or there's a target on your back yeah you can't even fucking put a bit of nail polish on and you're called faggot queer and indifferent that you is so I true she's done because she's got way less tweets i think they've made her delete most of her tweets because well well done channel really four that's a step in the right direction now just get her off my fucking screen <laughs> <laughs> so is she in the penthouse is she fucking the penthouse i should she's hope not in the drop bags wherever she belongs <laughs> the bin but I'd be interested to see how that evolves them. Well with her, I need it? to go watch this show. She I need was, to go watch she's it. very... Um, she, she doesn't get much camera time, thank fuck. Mm. I think oh. they must have got her on it and then thought, fuck her now. Mm. Because it, it's just not giving. But also, why are they allowing that on TV, though? Do you know what? I think, to be honest, they do, they're not... They, what, they've got a show balance as well. Mm. I know that. But I don't think it's the right... <laughs> yeah, balance, like, put it on end. the news or something, maybe <laughs> for 30 seconds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, put her on the news to have a 30 second debate with someone. Yeah. Then no fucker will have to endure her. I don't know, though. Maybe she'll go on there and then maybe she'll spout a load of shit and then it will, like, she'll be finished. Uh, but do you then, know what I mean? Well, don't you think there's a right wing uprising? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. So, the, the people like here who say what they think, it's like commenders, and I think. I say what I think, mm. but I would never t- tra- tarnish a whole community of people. Like, mm. I would never say. Uh, actually, yeah, I would fuck the Tories. I would say that, yeah. but I wouldn't say like, um, do you know, like, make generalizations about queer people or trans yeah, people yeah, or yeah. black people. That to me is you are attacking people's unchangeable protective characteristics, mm. and you are essentially really insecure about your own life. Because why do you care what's in my undies? Yeah. I could have I a vagina. It. How do you know I haven't got a vagina? At no point has anyone examined me before I went in the bathroom, and no fuckers allowed to examine anyone mm. before they go in the bathroom. So don't stand there and say, I don't want this person in the bathroom. You don't know how they were born. Shut your fucking hole. Yeah. Mm. Go and have your shit or your piss. Wipe <laughs> up and piss off. 
<laughs> it's right though, isn't it? I mean, it's crazy that like it's weird. we're having why to have so these conversations. Bothered? Why I don't? Wait, that is one thing I don't get. What the most comment we get on our podcast page actually is zesty, and I still don't get what it means to this day. I, I think look, it's a good. That's a it good means thing like though, isn't it? Right. It's but I, I it looked on Urban Dictionary. It's like gay it's and SD fabulous. It's like fabulous, yeah. Yeah. But then it's a straight man oh. that comment. But they, like they, they, I, yeah, oh, because they're actually into they're saying they're, like they're you're fruity inside. Like you're gay. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. what happens is that in their mind, they're so gay that they can't possibly fathom that you live openly as a queer yeah, person. Yeah. So, you know, those are the ones that want you to put a dog collar on them and fuck them in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, next time before you raise zesty, just remember I know your bum hills on Grindr, love. <laughs> That's so true, though. I feel like it's that true. it's like insecurities coming out in it, and uh, I think social media is such a good uh, platform <laughs> for people because they can be anonymous. They can be anonymous, can't they? Can they can be anonymous, but mm. then also, I, what I love nothing more than is when I'm on a live and they come on and they type something and I click on them and they put the pictures on. I can rip them in about five seconds. <laughs> and I go, don't block them. I go, wait a minute, and then I say, listen, Barry, love. You've got one eye in Heighton and one eye in Brighton. You <laughs> haven't got a fucking tooth in your head. And you're coming on here and you're telling me <laughs> about my eyebrows. Listen, love, my eyebrows are fucking fabulous and your face is like a Robbie's fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like my four beautiful right. children and he's calling me a queer and I think, them poor kids. Yeah, what that's the thing. I know. I think please don't breed. That's no, it. that's the thing I worry about. Please don't actually have children because you're going to bring them up with that kind of yeah. mentality. Yeah, I mean, and I just want to like end it. Like no, don't, Nikki, don't, on, don't. No, like just I don't. It's annoying, isn't it? Because there yeah. is going to be another generation of and kids growing up with that mentality. Do you not think as well, like how difficult it'll be for us to have children if we wanted them and yeah. the love and, and tolerance and kindness and all those things yeah. that we would give to a child and they can have it like that yeah. and they're f- feeding them bile and haste and it's, it is it's basically breeding another generation of bigotry yeah. because these people are never this is why I think like in schools they should teach you about same sex couples and mm-hmm. you know you're not talking about sex you're just talking about the reflection of society yeah and they're like i don't want my kid to learn about LGBT i know people. well what about when you go to the pantomime and there's a fucking man on the stage dressed in drag yeah i've been going since i was a kid it didn't need me no one and they all love it literally yeah you <laughs> <laughs> well i am a drag queen now for science so you are the, yeah so um i'm fucking hilarious i should be a drag queen you should pam so, right oh pam God. sandwich yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And I do my own makeup. I don't tuck though. I can't be doing with that. Oh really? We tried it. Wear a floofy top. We tried it. I mean, does it hurt? It depends what you've got there, doesn't it? Yeah, true. Mm. I mean, if you've got a clit, you'd know. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. (laughs) 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 Um, I have tried it. Yeah, but pushing the balls up is fine. It's just the shaft. Mm. I don't want to tape it. Yeah, it is getting it Shouldn't off. Have to. No, you can get tuck and knickers though. Have you been yeah. in drag? Yeah, I've seen. Them. No, well, we we put like makeup in um lockdown, but not like full. Yeah, we we got. Joe s- looks great in drag, doesn't he? He yeah. does. Yeah, I've not seen Joe in drag. Who puts him in drag? I haven't got a clue. Mm. At first, though, I got put in drag by Joel Beauty. You know the brands. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my first experience. Oh really? In drag. Um. And then I put myself in it and looked like Frank Gallagher from Shane with <laughs> <laughs> And then the next, the last time I put myself in it and I spent fucking hours on it and I looked stunning. It takes ages. Yeah. It does take and ages. I stunning. I think you've got, I think to be confident and go up there and sit, because I sing live as well in drag. Do you? Yeah, I'm yeah. like, it's nerve wracking. The singing bit, mm. the talking bit is fine. Like some woman come in, it was on Mother's Day, I did a gig, my first gig on my own. There was no one else on apart from me. And I was like, fuck. And I went up, and the first thing that happened was this woman. It had been St. Patrick's Day, obviously, the day before. And this woman came in with green on, with red hair. And I went, excuse me, love, I said, your calendar's fucked. And I said, it's not St. <laughs> Patrick's Day today, you know. So you look like a fucking leprechaun. I said, it's Mother's Day, you know. And, th- and then from then, once I got my first laugh, it was just rolling. Yeah. I'd mean. love to watch you in drag. It'd be so well, funny. Well, so as I say, I've just done an, um, a deal with a nightclub. So hopefully there will be more. Oh, that would yeah, be amazing. Yeah. Come and eat Pam. I wanted to do a night called Pam's Pussy Palace. <gasps> and and like have like really shit drag queens. Not shit, but do you know like Bailey J. Mills? We style? love yeah. Bailey. So One I of my him favorite at drag queens. And he's actually so lovely as well. And obviously he's in a same sex relationship with a transgender man who's pregnant, which is just iconic as yeah. well. Yeah. 
Um, I'm too old you to understand what that is. You're fucking idiot. Um, but I love them too, and I think they're wholesome as fuck. Yeah, collect yeah. Barbies. I mean, how wholesome. Yeah, yeah. it's one of my favourite people. It's just hilarious mm. when you don't film me pet and he's vomiting in the street. Yeah, and that is so it. funny. Like how funny, and and that's also drag is like the new age. That, drag. that is style of drag is great. Street. Like I love a look queen. It's got yeah. I love it. The beautiful, the stunning. I, I like personality it. though. But it's all about personality. It is. Yeah. Mm. It is. And that humour, you just can't beat it. No, you yeah. can't. It's like you can just watch it and forget about everything. Like we it have doesn't... a drag queen in Liverpool <laughs> <laughs> called Whitney White on right? And she <laughs> literally has wore the same wig for maybe mm, 189 years, <laughs> and she's got a hairy chest, lippy all over the face, and she's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's the funniest fucking thing. Ever. Whitney wide on. Yeah. <laughs> Get on her fucking <laughs> Instagram, you will die. It's like, it's the worst drag ever, but it's just the best drag ever. Yeah. And a lot of drag queens in Liverpool. I mean, there's one called Marlene, and like she's been doing it for that long. She's just fed up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and she like when she comes out from behind the DJ box, she's got slippers on. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's like, and she's not asked, and she's like, oh. <laughs> do you just really like my life's fucked I'm fucking 60 and I've been doing drag for 40 years but <laughs> th- I think you <laughs> it's like anything if you work in an office you think fuck this yeah, then yeah. there's one called Lavinia who's about 70 and she's like I mean she looks like a melted candle <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, <laughs> she, I've she never looks, heard that I love she's it just, I love she that. looks like Jabba the Huss in drag like she does, and it's just the best. <laughs> like my one thick candlestick. Like, no, do you know, like a, a, a name Joe Malone outside oh. the glass. Just <laughs> 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 she's great, and like there's just some really shit drag queens that look shit, but are the most entertaining. That <laughs> is true. Yeah. I just love shit like that. Yeah. I love shit like and that. And I love looking at ones where they're like the most fishy thing ever, mm. and you're yeah. like, oh, amazing. But then. What else have you got going on, Lord? Yeah. Mm. You can't sing, you can't dance, you can't act, and you can put a bit of lippy on. Well, Susie, fuck, and I, but I can sing, dance, and, well, no, I can't act. I can sing, <laughs> I can't dance. So, <laughs> if, <laughs> <laughs> if you could summarise your style of drag, then, what would it be? Across the tweet, say, bag of chips and the Vivian, I would like to achieve. Yeah. Okay, yes. cute. Two very I good queens. Be absolutely hysterical. Yeah. And be really, like, I'm not asked about pictures being took of me with a double chin and all that. Yeah. Anyway, but you know, just getting lipos out on the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Humano Clinic. <laughs> and for the news job. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I think that I think doing having fabulous makeup and still looking fabulous, but be, and still men wanting to shag me. Yeah, drag. obviously. And then also being, being funny as Absolutely fuck. hilarious mm. as well. And like pulling my wig off and being like having a ciggy and all that, you know. Because th- did anyone see that? Like there's a picture of Bag of Chips and she's got like a sports direct bag and she's talking <laughs> down to the street. <laughs> <laughs> and like a pussy cat wig on and a ziggy. And I was just like, that is just like the reincarnation of Julie Goodyear. Like that is just <laughs> everything. Any That's the most British drag I've she's ever seen. She's hilarious. Like all she's missing is a roast dinner or like a Toby Carvey. You know what I mean? A scouse yeah, pot. Yeah, yeah a, scou- a pan of scouse. A pan of scouse. Yeah, a scouse pot. Yeah, oh, a scouse pot <laughs> would be ganja. Oh, would it? Pot. Oh, just pot. Mm. Got you. Yeah. But it has to be rolled by scouse first. Oh, is it? Is it? Mm. I don't like it myself. No, I don't know. I was more of an upper me. Mm. Do you know, like ones that make me go a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. All that. I've done all that. Use like meth and heroin down here, though. We don't have that where I'm from, really. Oh, we get a lot of that here. Yeah. There's a lot of chem sex up here. We don't have that neither. What's that? Really? Like those chem sex oh, parties. Like some love, aren't you? Uh. You need to go to Stonewall. <laughs> and like, ex- I need to teach you a few things. Yeah. You're not very gay, are you? I am, but not. You no. don't. You need to know your history, love. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who Marsha P. Johnson is? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I then. do. I know all about that. Okay. Yeah. But just not the sordid side of it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chemsex is huge up here. Uh, yeah, because very, it's. Very uh, well, I didn't even know what it was until uh, I was here. Mm, really? You, well, mm. Manny, you get it. But in Liverpool, honestly, the gays are very like buttons up and like the the very bitchy. Very like um, they look down the nose at yeah, they look at you sort of up and down and all that, and very pretentious. But then you know, if you went over and said something to them, they'd be nice as fuck and pie. Mm. Really? Because oh. I, I, well, I just go listen to me, bitch. My outfit costs more than your man's fucking mortgage. Go and fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so chem sex is obviously where people use chemicals like um, cocaine, MCAT, MDMA, and it's obviously dangerous. They use needles and they have 
sex parties and if you there's a documentary about it actually which i would advise any young gay man to go and watch and it's a difficult watch but the you killer. need to know no, the gr- no it's called chemsex the documentary and oh. they literally film people in these situations who, who have contracted hiv or are um, living the life of being a chem sex person who's mm. constantly high, constantly looking for sex. It's really fucking sad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you do. You get messages at even like 9 a.m. being like, I'm literally high off bath salts right now. No, honestly. Just, like, like, and I know that the idea of it is like comedic with bath salts, you know what I mean? You think, mm. oh my fucking God, that person's crazy. But imagine your life being dependent on, on that. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. have any sort That's of intimate so true. Yeah. interaction. Yeah. And I just think for young gays that are coming up now and the way drugs are, and no one's got a pot to piss in because of the country. Yeah. And you turn into that because you need escapism. Mm. It needs to be highlighted. No, yeah. that's Stop so true. And it's so things. easily accessible. And that's why they come, because like, even outside the club, the amount of times you get offered drugs is ridiculous mm. because they know that a lot of us abuse it and we just take it. Well, do you know what one's the worst for me is G. Oh, my God. Yeah, that G's is awful. Have you had G? Can I ask No, you? I haven't. Have you? No. Have you? No. We know one of our old best friends yeah. um, done it at a party. Did they die? No, no, but Did you go under. Nearly right. So G is an alloy cleaner, mm. um, and I've I've done it. I was twenty two, I think, um, but I was high on everything else when I done it. Mm. Um, but like it was just you pipette it into an orange drink, you know, yeah, the, yeah you have it, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Where you have it. But it, it obviously you lose all of your inhibitions, and mm. most of the time when you at these chem sex things, which I haven't actually been to, I've only ever done it with my friends. I've never been to a chem sex party, mm. but I have done G before because it, w- it was in Liverpool. People did, yeah, do it. yeah, yeah. There's someone who I actually know, just to go off topic, who's addicted to G. That if he actually stops taking it, he will die. So he has oh. to take G every single day. So G. It, it makes you sexual, you lose your yeah. conditions. But if you're in a chem sex environment, most of the time, as you know, you've met that person on the phone. You're taking a drug that's completely altered in your mind. That's so true. What the fuck are they going to do to you? The grinder killer. Mm. He cheated them, yeah. killed them, raped the dead body or whatever he did, and then dumped them in a graveyard. Mm. Yeah. So bad. And because it's invisible when it's in the drink as well, you don't know what dosage they've put in yeah. the drink until so, you've had it. So it's you me- I, when I took it, I knew what it was and I measured it myself. But people think they're fucking resilient. Yeah. 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 It's like any drug. People overdose off heroin, fentanyl, whatever. Oh, this is fucking gone really dark. But it's, it? but it's right. something we need to talk about, the though, isn't it? The gays need to talk about it because obviously you've obviously got a gay following because there'll be gay men that relate yeah. to you. There'll be gay men that relate to you and all separately and together as yeah. well. And I do think if you are young and gay, you have to face these difficult things um, to understand what's happened and what could potentially happen again. Mm, yeah. Like, HIV, PrEP, amazing, all those things are amazing. We didn't have that. No. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's we true. You, all of us never yeah. have that. And but now even the education now still isn't there for people growing up about that. And I also think they should look back and, and look at the AIDS epidemic and look at the people that fought for the rights and have some gratitude and not just be living the best gay life. Yeah. Like, uh, th- I, when I come out, I was fifteen. There was no, I didn't know one other gay person. Mm. Like it, it, it was a. Di- you have known yourself, like even yeah, five years ago, two years ago, three years ago. It's a different time, and now mm. there's a right wing uprising. We've got to fight back. It's so true, and I, d- I do. True. I I have felt recently that we're a little bit more under pressure than we have been in a while, mm. and it all seems to be shifting towards like some really homophobic like ways of thinking, mm-hmm. but. It, Sorry, and I and I I to be honest with you, like wh- when I I came out young, I came out when I was like fifteen as well, and like ever since then I stopped being scared. But now recently, I've only just started to feel a bit more worried. If that makes really? sense. Mm. I came out when I was nineteen. Mm. Do you feel um, scared? No, I I'm very. I know how to like hold myself in certain situations if I sense people aren't for it. You know what I mean. Mm. I know, like, I can't well, really you explain it. you for it, you need to get with the programme. Mm. Yeah. Because the only way, the, the, a way to fight alone is to use PDA or not? No. Not no. at all? No. For safety reasons or because you don't want it? Both. Pro- probably both. Why shouldn't you be able to PDA? I know. 
Well, we, we should. This I, is the thing. I we never have. hate PDA. So, would you hold my hands and walk down the street? I would, yes. But you wouldn't. No. And that's because in certain should. areas. Right. Okay. No, but that's understandable, of course. I mean, I wouldn't go to Afghanistan and start walking around. <laughs> <laughs> but I am very unapologetic, and I think, it co- and I'm not patronising anyone here. But it, I was not like that when I was your age. Mm. I, it's come with resilience, and it's come with the abuse, yeah. and it's come with all of that. And you know, eventually, something does give, and you do think, fuck. You, you yeah. are not telling me that's so live true. my life for the next 30 years. If I want to roll yeah. someone's hands and you've got a problem with it, come the fuck at me, bro. Yeah. Because this mouth doesn't just work. I will fucking punch you if you touch me. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not playing. Because I I do, I want an 18 year old to be able to hold their boyfriend's hands and feel that that is safe and okay. And then these, every time it's a gay person or a black person or a trans person, the fucking authorities couldn't give a flying fuck. Yeah. And so we're not protected and we're not safe. And the government have got a lot to answer for because you should be able to fucking finger him in the street. Well, not finger him. You you should be able to kiss him in the streets if you want to because that's Mm. your partner and you love him and he loves you. Mm. And if I seen anyone saying it, I'd do fly kicks over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I would would feel awkward if I'd done that. Like, in public yeah mm. um, and and i understand that and I, do you know what i have each to their own always anyway but mm. i do think there should never be an element of you can't it should yeah. always be an element yeah of you don't want, you don't to. want yeah, to yeah 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 exactly yeah, yeah, I agree. but yeah i mean recently it's just been like it feels like it's there's a it? it's just a bit more there's something there. there's a bit more of an atmosphere about at to the happen. moment i don't know yeah, yeah. i mean I Especially like I would like the drag the drag queen laws like the, the trans drag queen laws, laws yeah. and the drag queen it's just laws. ridiculous. I mean the trans thing's really bad. Yeah, I really imagine bad. being a trans person, especially a trans woman, and I don't you know, but it's I do think in reality trans men are more passable in society. Okay. Like all of my, I've got a lot of trans men. I think friends. it's the same like with lesbians as well. Oh no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. a lot of lesbians will say that themselves. Mm. It's much worse for gay men. Because w- women don't really give a fuck most of the time. Yeah. And men are very prideful and there's to a toxic well. thing, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when we're the gay men, to so straight men, there can be a toxic element where yeah. if you associate as a straight man, I'd love you to weigh in, but you can't because you're behind the camera. But if you associate with gay men, often there will be surrounding men that will call you gay because you're friends with a gay man. Mm. And then that toxicity and the barriers back up. Mm. Whereas th- we need allies in the street community that are male, not just female, that go, well, you know what? That's my mate. I'm not going to bed with him. I don't really care what you think. Mm. And why does every single relationship that I have with a man have to be sexual? Yeah. It's yeah. not. Because I'm, I haven't shagged one of you. Yeah. yeah. And it's completely platonic. And I wouldn't mm. shag none of you. No. If I, if I was still <laughs> on the air, I'd probably shag you all. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? But you've pointed out that you also sometimes like hold people close to close friends. Oh, God, I like agree. Friends with me, so I have like particular white close friends. I can have a gay friend. They're not going to. No, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that totally be mm. because it's outside the norm isn't it mm. and i understand that the cultural differences but i think that the only way that people grow is by there being visibility and yeah. by there being that this is my friend and he's gay and and then someone might be a little bit like at first but as soon as they get to know you that barrier comes down doesn't mm. it yeah i because think with now what the worst and i've said this quite a bit what the worst thing is is because of social media both parties can speak really loudly now and if you have something shoved in that you feel like is shoved in your face and it's coming with a huge audience, people feel attacked. So they want to defend yeah. themselves straight away and attack back. And I think that's why now it's this whole... Because when I came out, like the only attack I would get would be from the people that I would see. Do you know what I mean? Like There wasn't really parties that... Because back then you'd only communicate with the people you knew on Facebook and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now it is anyone and their mum across the world that can come for you. Do you know what I mean? So the attack is on a much larger scale. Yeah. yeah. And I think when you put yourself out there in that social media realm or go on TV, you apparently are free face to anyone. Yeah. Mm. And I think, like, why are we forgetting about the fact that, like, these people from Love Island killed themselves. The Carolina yeah. killed herself. Why? When did that disappear? Because that's still very much prevalent mm-hmm. yeah. in society, in life. And it, it happens on a much smaller scale. So what makes you think it's not going to happen to someone who's been on the telly? Mm. Do you yeah. troll people? You can have your opinion, but opinions are personal. You don't mm. have to share them with everyone. Because yeah. you know what? You fucking Molly with your 200 followers, I couldn't give an eighth of a shite what you say. Yeah. But when it happens 800 times a day, mm. yeah. I don't care what someone's done. No one deserves to lose mm. their life. No. Because they're that desperate to get away from the situation yeah. like social media. Yeah. It and should be an escape for someone. People are so power hungry now that they would go to the length of saying whatever they want just oh to yeah. get the most like yeah. comment on TikTok. Yeah. That's so true. They don't believe it. It's the Andrew so Tate um, 
m- movement, yeah. isn't it? No, Thank yeah. God he's in jail. It's the only reason why people on social media comment hate is because they 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 need to feel validated in some form or way. Mm. So if they get a, if they get a comment that does like what twenty thousand likes for a hate comment. Best believe they're going to be doing that every single day for the rest yeah. of their lives yeah. just to try and chase that. that yeah, 100%. it validates their yeah their hate. And I think if you can get into that mind space where you know that, mm-hmm. it sort of just takes the power away from them comments. Yeah, you get that sort of thing because you go, oh, I haven't said nothing about you. I don't even know who you are, and you're mm, right yeah. about me. Yeah. So, you care about me? I don't even know you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I am very thick skinned when it comes to social media. I'm, you, you I'm very aware. Though, yeah, you? I'm very aware that I have no fucking idea who you are. If I'll be twelve, you got no, f- you got no profile picture, and you're doing this. This is a reflection yeah. on you, not me. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Mm. I'm, th- I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm so fine when it comes and down to on social mind. media. And I think that there should be in schools as well for k- teenagers who are using social media. Mm. Those resources and people like you, like me, like you, going in and having conversations with them, yeah. so that it does remove the power and you sort of laugh it off and yeah. you give them the tools to be able to, you know, deal with it. Well, in the school I grew up in, so that was Catholic school, and we were taught, obviously, like, in Catholic, that gays are wrong and stuff like that. And can you imagine growing up... As a queer a t- kid? Yeah, and you obviously... I didn't even understand it back then, either, because you're not told about... I was always told, like, being, like, um, even gay and lesbian is swear words. Like, you can't even say those words, like, growing up. And, um... But are you I Mormon asked or is it Catholic? Pardon? Catholic or Mormon? Catholic, yeah. But I asked to go back, so I had my head of year apologise to me after I left school because they never knew what was going on because obviously didn't want to listen. She's lovely, bless her, but still, you could have paid attention. I asked to go back and do like an... They had an anti-bullying week, mm. which is about as good as a chocolate spoon. I asked to go <laughs> back to do like... Because I'm like, well, I've been here two years ago and I've obviously experienced it. Let me talk about it. Nothing. You just c- you're queer, though. Yeah, you're just don't want to hear about it. No. One, didn't you realise? Yeah, that's true. Bloody, that's you're true. not allowed to do that. No. Mm. Yeah. Do guys, don't send you, don't send your kids to religion schools. <laughs> mm. You sh- I just don't believe in. It. I don't believe that schools should be allowed to do that. Mm. To be honest, unless you, fr- it's a cultural reason, and you, you're from a specific culture where you require that. Le- you what you know? I don't know. But mm. to me, I, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't like it. I don't mm. think it should be allowed. I don't think the church should have any power over schools at all. Mm. I think yeah. schools should be completely <coughs> neutral and mm. unbiased and tolerant of everybody. Mm-hmm. Well, I still don't understand the whole gays being pedo thing. Because last time I looked at the Catholic register, they're not doing very well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do. That's that's been something that's dipped in and out over. Because um, now they're saying trans people are predators, and I'm not being funny enough. I that's awful. I mean, it's just pathetic. Nobody's it's gonna, honestly. If, if so someone pathetic. wants to be a predator, they really do not need to dress up as a no. predator to do it. I can assure you now. They don't. Yeah. They don't though, do they? It's like fucking common sense, you absolute fucking idiots. Yeah. And stop tra- Barry through who drives the fucking truck for the Asta. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> and what people don't realise is to become <laughs> that way, like to actually fight through so many social norms and all these dickheads, to become a trans person, you know how much self involvement you would have to mm. go through and like how much self love you would have to actually put yourself in that place. I'm yeah. pretty sure you're not a fucking predator. And now I can assure honest. you now, living on your life, living on hormones for the rest of your life. Um, and ha- having gender affirming surgeries is really not something that you would opt in for if you didn't need to. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that anyone thinks that your brain is made of fucking smash, Literally. not even mashed potato, just Literally. the fucking powder just one, you prick. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's so just true though. Water. That's so true. Honestly, just tap. <laughs> it's canal. Just a canal. <laughs> the amount of hard work that people actually go through to get to that point where they're happy with themselves. Yeah. Self hatred, persecution. In, and that's just starting with yourself. Yeah. Then you've got to face these right wing pricks with white privilege and straight privilege and cisgendered privilege. Who the fucking hell are you? Mm, yeah. And, and why would someone choose? Old. They're always, always like yeah, old. Yeah, and always. old yeah. and silver spoon fed. Piss off. People go, oh yeah, you choose it. Why the fuck would you want to choose Why would that? we choose? Why, why would any choose of us to choose? go through yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Why would you want to choose also, that? One thing I absolutely love. All right, we'll choose to be gay for a day then. Show me oh how yeah. to do this. Show you me this get choice. Get a big fuck off dildo and say, oh, sit on that and tell me <laughs> for a minute that I choose that. <laughs> so I can assure <laughs> you now. You know what makes me laugh? In the changing rooms, they love looking at each other. They oh. love it. Oh, the rugby players put the cocks in each other's mouths and everything. Yeah. Have you seen them? They drink each other's piss. Uh, they go to Cabos and each eat each other's shit and everything on them b- lads' holidays. Disgust. And they also make soup in some of them women because they're all coming in the same one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come soup. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I like to call it delusional broth. That's what they are. <laughs> they're diluted. They're on diluted broth. Delusional these people. Broth. Honestly, or like a, a nice ins- an injection of ego. Yeah, that's what they are. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, they've all got tiny little uh, penises as well. Oh, hey, stop! Why do you care? Why does someone else has got in there? Don't you? Yeah. Got a teeny weeny little polka dot penis. That's what I mean. And also, like, I always think, like, why do you care about what I'm doing in the bedroom? It's not bothering you. Well, it shouldn't bother you. Well, I don't. I don't give me. a fuck what you do Listen, behind closed doors. So why do you care about me? We're more manly than anyone, I think, because to take cock, it really fucking hurts. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? I wake up with laryngitis and I wake up with a fucking broken shrink teeth. <laughs> 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 it's hard. It is. And it's it not is. a naturally wet organ. <laughs> we have to lube it up as well. Mm-hmm. Clean it, lube it. It's really, it's very, very quick, my love. It's an art form. I yeah. might actually, it's like a cooking show. Getting yeah. ready, isn't it? <laughs> it, is, it is. And it's one of my area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bleached, waxed, lasered. It's a full make. I really want to get my ass all bleached. I have. I'm Does bleached. it hurt? Oh, it burns, but it lasts for six months. It burns for six months? No, it, no, no. it burns, but it's like an angel. <laughs> the result. Oh, oh. oh. Honestly, it looks like an angel kissed it. It's just a little pink deliciousness. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly? Yeah, I want to get my ass all bleached. Have you lasered yours? No, never. Laser it. Really? Yeah. It, it, I need mine lasered. Do I you? do, yeah. Does that Would hurt? You, are you hairy? Yeah. yeah. I, I like hairy thing. I wouldn't want... If I had a partner, I wouldn't want them to laser it. I'd want a hairy. Really? Oh, 100%. But a hairy <laughs> bum? Everything. Really? <laughs> oh. There's a man at my work. I love him. He looks like Jesus. He's got really long hair. I love that Gorgeous well. blue eyes. And he's just hairy from his I, I like oh, that, I like, him. bohemian looking man. Oh, right. Sexist okay. Bohemian rap. You know, like yeah. a rocker who's like just come off stage in the sweat. I just want to lick them. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what as well there's another thing actually just um do you know um when someone's like overly just got off the shower and they've washed themselves with like something that smells of aftershave mm, that yeah me off. it doesn't taste really? nice I, yeah i like like a dick that's been around for a couple of hours i know just what you mean flavor to it just like human yeah human Instead yeah, like, yeah. Ju- like hugo boss yeah you know got, you, I mean? got you got you hugo boss but you know what i mean like something like that yeah i just want so i just want it to be a bit like you've got to pull the balls off the fire bit <laughs> 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 peel it off. not peel but it's like it's a bit clammy yeah not clammy like, just not human sweat new human. sweat human. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah not like aftershave dick like you know I, you, by that's the way, you awful you shouldn't do wa- that yeah, only water you're supposed to use warm water on what your dick only warm water you're not supposed to use soap nothing really no but isn't that just on the tip no yeah on the tip obviously the butt and and the tins so basically obviously are you cut or uncut uncut so obviously when you pull the foreskin back you're only supposed to use warm water on the head yeah yeah the rest of it you can i mean i wouldn't use a perfumed one because then it just tastes like right but it, you use like a, maybe a bar of soap yeah or like a, a gentle how am i only just finding that out Did you not know? Do you know what, no if you use aftershave things on the be- the head of your penis it gives you smegma yeah it makes it worse really it it worse, yeah is that to do with that because obviously we have it's a like ph as well pH. yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, i've got you got you um but yeah don't ever clean the head of your penis with um anything apart from warm water oh my god maybe like a little sponge yeah yeah, yeah yeah if you want to give it a little spa <laughs> but uh yeah <laughs> little manicure yeah yeah cute oh well there we go fucking hell i you didn't know, know that i can talk about by the way i'm a very experienced person when it comes to these things i can talk about anything i know how to do it all go so what's like the wildest thing you've done and you've enjoyed This is terrible, actually, but I will tell you. So um, I once turned up to an orgy. This was years ago. And I, I didn't realise. I was just really horny and I was excited when I was hungover. And um, I got there and I was the only bottom and I was by myself. Oh. I cried. <laughs> so I was like a rotisserie chicken. In the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is... <laughs> It was just like, mm, 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 next, mm, 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 next, mm, mm, mm. And then one was trying to put his cock in my mouth, and I was like, no, look, I'm concentrating. <laughs> you know, I think I had, like, my phone out or something, and I was like, look. I'm oh, like, really? It's just going on for ages. God, not I, too long, I, I hope. I got get, dicks, it was. Mm, not yeah, massive. I get, I can't go past a certain time, otherwise mm-hmm. I just, like, lengthwise. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Have you got a baby's arm holding an apple? Hey. Have you got a baby's arm holding an apple? What do you mean? What does that mean? He can't go back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Have you got a big dick? Yeah, he does. I'm right, so that I understand that. Very oh, got you, yeah, yeah. Big. Got you. But I also find that small ones hurt more than big ones because it's like this. 
Oh, do you think? Oh, God, disgusting. I hate them. <laughs> I don't hate them, but I, I, I don't like... They, they like hiss. I think they like attack the wall. Attack really? the wall? Uh, mm. Yeah, whereas a big one fills the orifice, doesn't it? So I, I love Got you. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're on your back and you like push down there. Have you ever done that? No, not right, push down on, your on back. my stomach. No, like your gr- pelvis. If you go on your back, right, you do this tonight. Let me know how you get on. <laughs> um, go on your back and you put pressure there. Not on his stomach, on his pelvis. You will fucking be, you'll be, you'll be like, you just waste. Really? Really? Have you used any of these? No. no. Really? Okay, so, have you used any of these before? No. Right, have you? No. Oh my god! Right, so <laughs> we're so inexperienced. It's we need the, to live no, that No, guys, we need. If you ever do a sex episode, I will come on and tell you about all these toys that I've used. Right, okay. So the anal beads, put them in fully, right, and 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 obviously get the hook. So if it's you doing it to him or vice versa, just hypothetical. When you're giving him a blowjob, you tell him when you're about to come, pull them out as fast as you can. What? Really? And you'll be able to walk. <laughs> 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 the orgasm of your life. <gasps> really? Honestly. Literally rip them out. Pull them out. Don't be fannyish about them. Get them fucking out. As you're about on the come, get it out. He'll fucking explode. <laughs> Honestly, wow. Me beads tonight. Yeah, literally. Get them, but don't get big, long, fucking, like, human centipede style ones. Just get the little ant swimmers ones to start with. <laughs> <laughs> do they do them Just in ant swimmers? Oh, yeah. oh. Did you have them in ant swimmers? Mm. And they yeah. have a lovely selection of lubricants as well. Oh, I know that. Don't use you shouldn't use flavoured ones or ones that burn. No, no you never taste. really use it. What do you yeah? No. Do you use spit? Yeah. Just you know, dirty <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 oh no, it is better with spit. Yeah, yeah. And, also and it doesn't get like sticky in my or tacky. Ass, not fucking me, Sam. Yeah, true. If you if you, it's not going in your mouth, your dick's not going near it. Okay. And that's on periods, okay? True. There we no, are. It's true, but it's my and it's so I've got a, the best bum ever, and I just think you really are lucky to even get near that, <laughs> or that. <laughs> Actually, or yeah, or anything. Yeah, really? Yeah. You know, I pop my jo- joints out of place for you, love. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on now. Have you ever used um, cannabis lube? What is it called? Hemp, hemp lube. lube. Yeah, no. I have actually, I have used hemp Does lube. Does it actually do anything? No. No. What do you mean? What's it's it supposed hemp, to do? Yeah, it's supposed to relax the skin. Oh, right, thing. okay. Um, have you, do you use poppers? No. no. I don't like them, me. I don't see. It. I, don't I like see doing it. them, I but just not during that. sex. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like an. Um, it you inhale them to. Do, it's meant to be like. I don't know. It's like a. Um, it's a really it's strong it. like solvent. Yeah. It's like a headbrush. It's Smell a. It. It's a le- It's legal, by the way. You can buy it in most garages. Yeah. I just get yeah, it in the corner shop. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in like so liquid gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a little bottle. You know, <laughs> like a I'll have a liquid gold, please. I'll have it. I'll have a custard. Like a liquid gold and a packet of fruit pastel, Yeah, please. literally. <laughs> <laughs> some people it does. <laughs> I'll have um, some of those, uh, r- those rollies as well. Yeah. <laughs> Poppers are great, so actually. <laughs> yeah. But I do find it weird that people use them during sex. I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, yeah, I, uh, this, I used to give this fellow a blowjob all the time and he used to take them then. And he was so much more expressive and that really turned me on. You oh. Know, really like, you can tell they're enjoying you, the blowjob. I love that. God, that it me fucking knocks me out. out. Mm-hmm. I don't do get... Really uh, like, talk, like, not talking, but like... like all like vocals. I love that. When they're a little bit, but I don't want them to be like, are you a slut? I'm like, my mouth's full, I can't talk, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, stop asking me questions. Just when you can tell they're enjoying like, yeah. through noises. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 it's like, you're, you're like, bawling, like, and like, are you a whore? And I'm like, how the fuck am I? <laughs> like sign language in them saying, <laughs> <laughs> writing it in braille as you're giving them a blowjob. Yeah. You're doing like, what do you want? No, fucking hell. Just bubbling from the cheeks. I'm not multifaceted. <laughs> <laughs> writing it down with a pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Have you ever had pussy? Yeah. Have you? Fuck that. No. Definitely Have not. Have you? Yeah, I, I've tasted a transgender man before, yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's just like, it's not about the area for me. I don't like femininity it though, me. really. It depends. Like, if it's a man who's feminine, I don't mind. But I do, like, wi- if it was, um, so if it, it was a woman, they would have to be like a really masculine lesbian yeah. for me to do, be able to find them remotely attractive. Got you. But I do say, like, 
it's a part, it's harsh, not part, isn't it? Like, mm-hmm. when it comes to undies, if I went to home with you and pulled your undies down and you had a vagina, I'm not going to be like, oh, I didn't expect that. I just don't really give a fuck. Yeah. Deal with it. That's fair like, enough. Yeah, fair play. You know play. what I mean? Like yeah. It's, it's, and it's, they're usually very manly and very hairy, and mm. it's the same thing. And it's a bit, you don't, you're turned on by the person. Yeah. You're turned on by the organ. True. Yeah, sometimes you're turned on by yeah. the organ. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, to say. It's like a big python, then I'm turned on by it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah, true. It's true. Mm. It, was you, was you, were you a lady's pussy you asked? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, it was all right. Not, not particularly fond? Or not for me. No. Not for me, I don't think. Grace. But. It's into bussy. Not never bussy. say <laughs> never. <laughs> Never say never. Yeah, never it's say never. It, uh, it changes over life, I think, as well. Your mind changes, not your sexuality, but your mind becomes more open. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. That you're very, from your generation, because you're 10 years younger than me, believe it or not, you will be far more explorative and open to these things. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, the idea of women when I was your age, it would never have happened. Never. Really? Absolutely really? not. Really? No. And I think it's probably a North thing as well. Like, mm. it's just, we're not that. But I'm like a fucking freak to them. Because <laughs> I'm open to it all. Mm. Not fisting. Oh. Not fisting, though. No. 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 Yeah. Let's let's draw the line there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What about you for fisting, Nick? No. no. I'll never forget my first ever... Oh, <gasps> God, I thought you were going to say your first Yeah, I thought you were as well. My first ever STD appointment. Never been before. And I was a bit taken back. I was very nervous. I was like 18. And they oh. were asking me all sorts of questions. And I, he was like, oh... It's daunting, isn't it? Yeah, he was like, so what did you do then? I was like, oh, just bits and bobs. He was like, yeah, but give specifics. I was like, I don't need to tell you that. No, you shouldn't really have to tell them No, that. but mm-hmm. he kept insisting, and he had an assistant in the room with him that was training. I was like, I don't want to discuss that. Like, mm. I was with a partner. Well, I, you just, I thought I you just told them where, it, where like, you said it's in, it's me throat and me rectum. Yeah. Or well, he just was going to do a full body and scan anyway. And you didn't know anyway. Mm. I do, when yeah, I do, I Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. And then <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> you know I mean? And then you don't even swab the penis anymore now. No. no. We. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. And you can have a rapid response test. You mm. know what? Touch wood. I've never had a penis swab. I think I'd refuse. No, you won't well. ever have to have one now because of the way it works now. Really? Really? That sounds Unless there's discharge, awful. Oh, you just sorry, squeeze it's it. That should give me a shiver. Oh no! You can't be prudish or sure worries about these. Don't worry, love. I'm not going to no, swab it's your it's penis. It's the idea. Of it's the idea. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. I mean, it's a bit like. Wincy, but y- it's like, do you know what I think uh, every time I think of you? Had one, no, no, but I, I'm, I've never been on a Imagine no. a woman having to have a smear, That's yeah, what yeah. I true, think. true, true. I always true. T- put myself in the position of someone who's way worse off when I do these things because yeah. I think, fucking hell, we don't have periods, we don't always yeah. like, get the arctic hard and get on with it. And these women yeah. go through a cycle every month, they're gonna go through the menopause, they have to deliver children. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I just think, like. We're quite privileged being here. Yeah. We are. Definitely no, are. definitely like, are. I agree. Oh, we come a lot quicker. It's much easier for us to orgasm. All those things. And I do always think of like, you've got to look at sometimes like the things that are making your life so much easier. Mm. Obviously, we're queer, which is difficult in certain ta- areas and times yeah. in your fucking life. But in general, like men have always got the upper hands, haven't That's they? That's yeah, true. Of and I think that the more men need to recognise that. Yeah. Mm. No, that is so About true. Percent. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Men like you, especially. <laughs> 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 I do, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hide him for the camera. <laughs> Doctor Tate, we love him. Yeah. Oh, he's a twat, isn't he? He is a cunt. Mm. You know what? Fuck we literally it. had a whole structure as well. Fuck Not need to use it once. But that's yeah, good, but I like though. I like that. Can you do it in a Scouse accent? Fuck it, why not? Fuck it, fuck it, why not? Fuck it. It's really sexy and good. I No, you put me under pressure now. That was alright, wasn't it? Why, huh? See love. Daddy's coming in with yeah. these and next. What is it, Whitney Wydon or something? Whitney like? Wydon. I'll be yeah. Whitney Wydon for you, love. Uh, <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> Oh, well, right, thanks well, so well, much for coming on today. today. Do you know what? Actually, You've been a fucking love. I've had a blast. That's it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, this has been my favourite podcast. I bet you it? say that to all the podcasts. No, actually, I well, I do, yeah, but it gets better every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, this one's just a bit of me. Mm. I, d- I was I thinking just love having a laugh. I feel like we need to have you on again. We need more stuff, yeah. more content. No, we need to know more. Yeah. We could talk for hours, couldn't we? I can we? talk really deep and meaningful and seriously about all those things and I'll have you fucking up in arms laughing. Yeah. One thing mm. I do love is that you can read any person to fuck 
mm-hmm. but then you have the most amazing views on life that mm-hmm. more people mm-hmm. should have and you're very educated as well I clearly yeah. like, that's that my biggest tool and mystery is that because people think i'm stupid because of my accents and all that and i love it because then i just wipe the floor yeah floor. and you should always have those little things about you where you know you don't ever let anyone tell you about you mm-hmm. yeah you're you and they can just have to deal with it yeah fuck them all. yeah in because the if you've got nothing nice to say, well, they wish. <laughs> but now, fuck them all. Be yourself. Be happy. Be queer. Be fucking a, a fucking pig with yellow spots on for all I give a fuck. <laughs> just be happy and be yourself. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And I leave agree. other people alone. And Period. that's it. Thanks, guys. For yeah. Today. And that's a good play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember to follow Pam Sandwich as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. It's pa- it's the name on it is Pammy Sandwich because someone that took Pam Sandwich on it. Do you believe it or not? What? Fucking cunt. And she's a pound shop version of me. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We love you all. Thank you very love much. Love you guys. Mwah. Adios.